All right, this one's gonna be on Browse. It is a text-based web browser. Uh, basically, it's a front end to Firefox. Uh, so you can see when you start it up here, it says connecting to Firefox. And let me show you some of the hotkeys first here so you can understand what we're doing next. So the hotkeys are arrow keys, page up, page down for scrolling, control Q to exit the whole thing, control L is for address bar, so on and so forth, you can read in there, all right. But um, basically it's running Firefox in the back end and it's just, I guess, streaming the, or re-rendering it uh, in your terminal a little bit different here, all right. Um, so let's bust this out here. We'll go Control L, and uh, since my uh, default search engine is Google on Firefox, I can just type in you know the keywords I want to search for. So let's search for my name here, and you see here uh, these are the results on Google, and it renders it like you normally see it in the GUI web browser. So this one does have support for uh, JavaScript. Um, what is that? HTML5. I guess even like CSS styling and stuff like that. So, you know, this is like what you would want your text-based web browser to be, but uh, you know, this one's still using the GUI though, right? Uh, as most of the other console-based web browser, they don't have support for like modern stuff like, you know, JavaScript or HTML5 or, or any of the CSS uh, paging styling that they do for websites. But this one does, right? And you can see uh, it renders the images in, I guess, kind of like ASCII art or uh, pixelated stuff, which I'm not really a fan of. I mean, I understand it from their point of view because they want to do this to save bandwidth, but I, I wish they had like other options too, like other flags, like one for pixelation, one for no images, because I, I know there's a lot of people that don't want any images, and one for images that it's clear kind of like what w3m does you know they, they show you the actual images of what it is no pixelation at all that's the mode i want uh the most if they can actually do that because this uh pixelation stuff it's it's cool to see what it is like but uh i, I would rather have it the clear images forget the bandwidth stuff you know anyways uh hopefully they have those options in the future but as far as the navigation like i said arrow keys and if you want to click on a link, you got to use your mouse. Uh, there is no hotkeys at the moment to, uh, you know, uh, click on links or follow links. Or they call it hinting mode. Uh, if you ever use one of those Vim-based um, web browsers, you know, you can use your Vim hotkeys and you can do like a hinting and it will actually follow the link. But this one, you actually have to click on it, right? So, for example, if I want to click on any of these other links, I would actually have to click on the link and then it goes to, you know, um, wherever the page is at. So let's go back here. Let's go back again. If you want to open a new tab, you can do that. Uh, let's do open a new tab here. How about that? And then we'll do, uh, how about Yahoo? If we can do that. If I spell it right. mic is over there you go and there you go this is uh, rendering Yahoo and that's how you will scroll all of it a lot of text and if you want to get rid of it control W right to close the tab and as far as other features you can do in here what is the other features oh yeah if you go watch a video it will actually play the video pixelated with audio this is fucking amazing. <laughs> so let's play one of my videos here. All right, let's click on this one here. And we turn up the volume here. All right, this one was a requested video. Uh, kind of late, but I'm doing it now. And, and so you see, there you go. It's playing my video, but uh, pixelated. But the audio works fine. So that's pretty awesome. Um, uh, so, you know, everything that you expect it to work in the GUI uh, should be able to work in here. It's just that um, it is still kind of limited right now, right? Like I said, there's no hotkey to open a link. You have to actually use your mouse. However, there is some um, solutions to that. I'll show you in a minute later. 
But other features, here we go, is they actually have this monochrome mode. So if you are a night person like me, uh, you would probably love this feature. So Alt and M here. And you see that it just changes to uh, black text. Not black text. White text and black background here. Although the thing with this is that it gets rid of all the pixelated uh, images, which I don't want to get rid of if I'm doing this, right? And uh, and another thing is that the URL, uh, you don't really know where the hell is it at, right? Look at this. You don't know if this was a URL or not. It's just white text now. So that is kind of confusing if you're using this mode at the moment. Uh, you can't tell if it's a link or a text or whatever it is. Um, so that's that. Another thing, I really like this one. I wish this one would exist on uh, all the existing, you know, console-based web browser right now. And that's the ability to toggle the user agent. Um, what was it here? Alt and U here. So you can toggle between uh, desktop mode and mobile mode. And uh, depending on what size it is, you know, um, it's much better to use the mobile mode. So, for example, this is Google right now. This is our Google results. And this is how it looks like when you're on a desktop. But if you're on like a, an Android phone or, or any type of smartphone, it'll look different because you're on mobile, right? So you just switch to it here, Alt and U. So you see in the bottom here it says mobile uh, user agent active. Uh, so now if I reload this, Control R. You see this is the mobile mode and you see the results are a little bit different and they get rid of some of the uh, the other fluff that you don't need and I like it you know I can do it on the fly uh, if, if I was doing this on like W3M or whatever I would have to close down W3M change the user agent go back to that URL that I was on it's just a big waste of time but this one you can do it on the fly which I like because uh, some of the sites uh, that I go to, it just doesn't accept, um, you know, um, desktop. It's just like mobile is, is much quicker for W3M to do that. Anyways, uh, that's another feature I like. Uh, what else is there? Oh, as far as I tell you, like, about the, um, some of the hotkeys you can get around. Because right now, it, there's no Vim hotkeys. It's kind of annoying. I have to use, you know, arrow keys. Who the hell uses that anymore? But if you're using it within Tmux, um... You can actually do a little bit of, of uh, kind of like Vim, not really, but uh, you can do it with uh, Tmux here. So in Tmux, I use Control Alt, and then you know HJKL, and then NMP for uh, page up, page down. So look at this here: Alt, uh, Control Alt and J, I go down. Control Alt and K, I go up, and uh, Control N to page down. Control P to page up. You get the idea. But this is my bindings. Uh, for Tmux to do that here. So page up, page down, left, down, up, right, right, really quick. So that's the bindings I got there for uh, navigating this thing here. Uh, another thing is, like I said, you could not uh, cl click without using your mouse, but you can actually run extensions. Like it's not perfect, but I'll show you what I mean here. If I hit uh, F, you can see that is using uh, hinting mode. So you see all the yellow thing, whatever. So I hit F here. It should go to my GitHub here, right? Let me see what's the other one I bind to GH. Just go back. If I do F again, let's do another link here. We'll go into what the hell is that? K here. What is that? A Reddit page, right? GH. If I go down, let's do another one here. Let's say if I do that R sync link here, what if I can go into that one? What is that R? And it should be able to play the video if I did it successfully. Did I? Because some, sometimes this thing is broken because, like I said, uh, using extensions on here is not perfect. Uh, some of them works, some of them half works, some of them like 1% works. So it is kind of annoying. But I see, uh, I just show you that, you know, some of them does work here. Uh, if we can get it to do it again. What is that? Let's do it again here. God 
damn it. There we go. So if I did uh, F, and if I hit on um, E, I guess, what is this one, E? You see that it'll go follow that link. And that is using uh, an extension. So let me show you an extension here. We'll have to quit out of this so I can show you how to install the extension. So to install extensions on here to that uh, browse profile, you have to run it uh, what was that? with a dash with a GUI. So this one will open the GUI web browser. Uh, you know, that's running in the background. And from here, if you want to install your extensions or your add-ons or your plugins, whatever you call it, um, you have to do it within here, all right? So we go to add-ons here. Now, like I said, not all the uh, add-ons will work. Uh, some of them I try like Vimium, that thing don't work, all right? I try Vim uh, Vixen. This one kind of works, like I said. Uh, let me show you an example I'm talking about. So they do have HJKL to scroll and stuff like that. That thing doesn't work uh, within your terminal. So that's why you have to use those uh, bindings I talked about uh, in Tmux. But other stuff like, uh, what was that one? Where's the F here? Uh, for hinting mode, they have it here. Where the hell is the F? I don't know if I can show it here. Where's that F? What the fuck? I there you go. This wants to follow uh, links, aka hinting mode, to click on the link or open the link. Um, this one does work. So if maybe they take this plugin and then fix it up or whatever, and add that by default, that'd be great. You know, uh, because it does some way work, not really. And another thing is that with um, with this browser, the hell is that? With this browser, because it does use this like JavaScript, uh, HTML5, and, and all these new uh, technologies, it is it does have you know ads and, and all that. So you probably want to install an ad blocker, which uh, I already did here. I installed a uBlock Origin. So if you go on any like YouTube videos or whatever, it will skip the ads um, like you normally expect it to. So all you gotta do is go in here, uh, search for uBlock. And you know, find the uh, uBlock origin, and then just add it to your Firefox. This thing here, and once you have it, uh, it should load up by uh, default when you're using your browse web browser uh, in your command line. Uh, pretty much it. That's how you would like you know, try to get add-ons to work. Um, like I said, it's not guaranteed, but uh, that's the way I did it. And uh, let's reload this here. So if I uh, use this normally, um, you know, and I go to a page or something like that uh, that has videos, or even a page that has ads, uh, it will actually uh, block it. So normally, uh, if you go on any uh, YouTube videos, you will see like an ad in the beginning. But now, if I just click on the video, it will just have no ads, All right? So you can see this one; it will just actually just load the video only. Uh, there's no like skip bits added in two seconds or whatever, right? Anyways, that's how you get extensions to work with this and some of the hotkeys work around if you want to do that um, You know, it's up to you. All right Anyways, pretty cool uh, web browser, but it still needs a lot of uh, You know uh, included features for actually people to actually use it um, Anyways, I do like it Hopefully they'll add it more. And if they ever updated like uh, with Vim hotkeys and all that, I'll make another video on this. Uh, that'll be it for this one.